Hi, in this session we are going to talk what are the four keys for your idea management. In essential, I am going to talk what are the key aspects to focus on to take your idea to success. Everybody is interested in the success. But what are the success factors? We have already seen it. Now classically we are more tactically focused how do we achieve success? What are the parameters or the key factors that I need to consider before going into the action mode? No? Number one, the revenue potential. Why are you making this product? To provide a value to the customer. Does that offer any tangible gains for you? Because gains are going to be tangible or intangible. So you need to look out for the tangible gains. How much is this market, for example, 2 billion? What's the market share I'm going to capture? Maybe 200 million or 300 million. So that gives you a perspective. Maybe I'm going, say, about 10% of the market share. Now you are very clear to capture the 10% market share that you're going to see in the total TAM, as we call it, total addressable market. You are set with your goals. So that's basically conducting the assessment for the revenue potential, understanding the market dynamics, understanding the market next three years, five years, how it's going to evolve. That's one example. And number two, it's not always for the dollars. You want to be the first in the market, gain the first mover advantage, gain the competitive advantage, the head start, and then start building out. So when it came to the relational databases I can give, being an ex-Oracle guy, how Oracle was first to market to get the relational databases. Sybase had a pristine, pristine product, but it took two years for them to get the product. So the timing is important to gain the competitive advantage. That gives you a very clear perspective. Let's move on to the next example. What's the probability of my product to succeed? Don't determine it in A and have some root probability factors, which are hypothetical. Try to base them on the facts and then assess what's the probability to succeed or fail. So even analyzing the failures will give you the risk mitigation strategies. How do I circumvent this potential risk? You can do effective strategic planning upfront as part of the technology management or the strategic technology management, which most of the businesses have in the enterprises at least, and then go with that. And lastly, it is what are the costs that might be involved. For example, if you are protecting say in 10 or 12 different countries, what are my IP filing costs going to be there? How do I do a freedom to operate search or a basic pattern search to do the, what do you say, the market condition analysis, who has done what, and am I knowingly or unknowingly infringing on anyone? So to just take out the basic obstacles and then move ahead with your drafting filing, you're going to involve the attorney or the online filings and there is a fees associated with the filings. I'm just giving you different cost factors that are going and then the R&D cost that goes with the R&D scientists and then the equipments in case you are procuring or even to build a prototype. So all this cost must be factored up front to produce this particular IP or the idea to take it to product, what is going to cost me. So that is very, very important uh, part of the planning exercise, especially the strategic planning. You've got to do that to ensure there's more effective ROI. Say you're spending X dollars and then 3X, 5X, 10X could be your ROI. So you need to have that plan and upfront need to plan these critical elements because you can un analyze the points of failure and address them as part of the risk mitigation strategy. Overall, the bottom line improvement is the end goal. So I hope this gives you a perspective of what we are talked today and the four keys of idea management as you have seen. And do factor in this before you make your next session. Look forward to see you in another session. Thank you.